guys, this is Tarot with Kittens, Weights and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of Gabby Bucher's Raven cards. So this is a ginormous oracle deck, and as you guys know, I love decks of um, odd sizes. <laughs> so either really large decks or really small decks. So I've had this deck for probably about two or three years, and um, I realized I never did a review on it, and I figured, well, why not do a review on it now? So this is the box published by AGM, Urania. And I think I originally saw, hmm, oh, who was it? Um, Emma Jen Walters, I think, had a re did a review of this deck a long time ago, and I think that's what prompted me to get it, but yeah, I just figured, I'm like, hey, as I'm going through my decks, hey, I don't think I've ever reviewed this one. So yeah, let's definitely take a look. Oh, you like oh, crow's feet here, or raven's feet. Okay, so there's quite a few explanation cards. Let me pull all of those out for you guys. I want to make sure I show you guys everything that had originally come with this box. So I'm going to put this off to the side and like so. Okay, so you had a title card which looks like this. And it talks a little bit about uh, the Raven as a messenger and guide. And so therefore uh, trying to understand why uh, she created this deck. Um, how to use the Oracle for messages today. Um, kind of what you would get in a little white book, I would suppose. So different ways that you can use the cards or laying out your cards. Let doubt depart and confidence spread wide its strong wings to carry you now. I love that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these back in here. And I'm just gonna put that like so. All right, so these cards are humongous. So I think one thing people complained about is if you had smaller hands, that they were hard to shuffle. Um, even people who have, you know, larger hands, it, it's still a ginormous deck. Um, but you know, I think you can kind of figure it out. Like you can do more of a put all the cards on the table, kind of swish them around, shuffle. Um, but I want to show you the backs of the cards. And. The cardstock is rather thick, so it's a really good cardstock. I mean, like I said, I've had these like two or three years. I've used them quite a bit. Um, you can see there's like a little bit of maybe chipping on the edges, but they've stood up pretty good. <laughs> you know, especially being beaten a little harder just because they're a lot bigger, so I tend to drop them more. Um, so yeah, let's, let's turn these around. So you're not gonna get a whole lot of varying images um, and you'll see once we, we dive in. So let me do this. Oh, and um, before we dive in, there were some blank cards where you could put your own messages on here. So you're gonna see some where there are messages that I've added uh, because the blank cards allowed us to do so. Here was one of the blank cards. So I just added a little Buddhist proverb that I really love. Um, so like I said, you're, you're gonna get a few images that are different, but most, most of the time the images are going to repeat, um, but obviously the messages will not repeat. So for this one, it's not really about the image that's on the card. So for people who are more visual, this may not be the deck for you, but um, it's more intuiting the messages that come from here than it is, you know, a visual message. And I'll be sure to do a little, oh, Loki has joined us. Um, so here you can see one of the cards, the images repeat. 
um, I'll do a little shuffle for you guys and a little read, you know, so we can so we can see how it does. Hey, Loki. I'm pretty sure Loki's up here because he smells the feather and Loki loves feathers. Loki, you cannot have this feather. Sorry, I'm just holding the feather, you guys. I have a crazy panther. Somebody let the panther out. Loki. Okay, give me a second. The Loki wants to eat my backdrop. Okay, he was like, I want to eat the feather. No, wait, I want to eat this uh, <laughs> this furry thing you got here. <laughs> oh, my Lokester. Of course, he has to make his presence known in every video because he's like, hey, you can't have your channel without me. That's true, Loki. Poor Wally. <laughs> but I do love the messages in here. Um, I, I've loved, let's see, more doing meditations with them, one card draws. I don't really use these as them spreads at all. I don't think I ever did in, in the two or three years that I've had this deck. I've never used them in spreads. Um, I don't even think I used them as theme cards. So this has strictly been uh, a card of the day slash meditation deck you know, where I may um, feel a particular energy, then I pull a card, then I sit and meditate with it, and I go into like some of my deep, deeper meditations. <laughs> so those are the ones that I have added. I love just reading these. I'm like, oh, I love them so much. And remember, you could always pause the video if there's a particular card that you want to really read through. Let the raven be your eyes. Let the wolf be your ears. Because raven and wolf do work in tandem. When I was doing my study on uh, raven, my, it's just so interesting how um, they get help from other animals that would normally be like their predators. And I've noticed that with, with other animals as well. Sometimes they decide, you know, instead of working against each other to work with each other. That's actually one of my favorite quotes. And I turn that into a poster and put it on my wall of my classroom. Hello, Loki. Welcome back. And that is it. Okay, so we have the cards here. Um, as you can see, I've got my hands spread about as wide as they can go. And I'm going to give this a little bit of shuffle shuffle. I'm just going to pull a card for a message for us. And Loki's just going to continue walking around in the background. Hopefully not trying to eat my, my setup here. <laughs> Okay, so we have hold still and let yourself be borne up upon wings of power. You will come to know no harm, for they shall raise you up, and that your foot shall not strike against a stone. So for me, this one is all about personal power. Um, and one way we can tap into that personal power is to be still. Often that's a message that comes up for me you know, um, for all the meditation and tarot readings and working with spirit guides and things that I do, um, I sometimes rush through things and I, um, you know, I rush through my meditations or I, you know, have so many other things on my plate that I don't really just sit down with my own energy um, and just feel how it's changing, how it's progressing. And I think this message is for others as well that, you know, uh, in order to find how far you've, you've come or to see how far you've come in your spiritual journey, 
um, in order to feel your own power as well. It is good to be still every once in a while, you know, where you're like, okay, I gotta do this and this and this. And as you guys can probably hear in the background, I have my laundry going. It's like, okay, I gotta do my laundry and I gotta do this. And, um, and I think, you know, after this video is made, I will find some time to just sit and quote unquote do nothing, you know? And I think that's hard for a lot of people as we feel like if we're not doing anything, then time is being wasted somehow. And that's not a waste of time. Um, to sit with yourself and to feel like what's going on in your own body how, how does your your energy your power feel is a very powerful thing it's getting in tune with yourself um, which I mean <laughs> if you're not in tune with yourself you know a lot of things could go wrong so this is just a message to you know find some time to be still and feel what it is to be you all right so hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and um, Loki, could you please not eat that? <laughs> and um, if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. And if you want to send a little love my way, think about joining that KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittensweightsandtarot. And that's it from me, Spiritual Omis. Uh, Loki and I are wishing you an awesome sauce day. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.